Hello friends, Miss Christy is here once again. Welcome to another North Shelby Library family story. Today's story is called Little Mouse's Big Valentine. And it's a story about sharing love with friends. Little Mouse loved parties and she loved her friends more. One windy blustery cold February day. She was sitting on her front porch and that wind blowing by brought her something. It was red and it was fluttery and it landed right on her lap. She picked it up. What is that? It is a red piece of paper. Wow! Do you know what you can do with a red piece of paper? That's right. You can make a red piece of paper into a valentine. Little Mouse had that very idea. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful to have a valentine? She'd never had one before of her very own. Maybe she could make herself a valentine and hang it up to decorate her house. Maybe she could have a party and invite all of her friends. What a great idea! But first, she needed to make her valentine. Do you know how to turn a piece of paper like this into a valentine? I'll show you. First, you need to hold it just like this. And then you need to Flop it over so that it looks just like a taco. When you turn it into a taco, then you need to squish the bendy part flat. Squish, 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 squish. Very nice. Now, once you do that, you need to make an ice cream cone. Now, normally we have scissors but Little Mouse didn't have scissors. She was too little. One thing that Little Mouse did have though, and all Little Mice have them, is teeth that were very good for nibbling. So she decided that she was going to nibble her very own ice cream shape into her paper. And it went like this. She started at the bottom and nibbled. Nibble, 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 Now, what does that look like? A little bit like an ice cream cone, doesn't it? I wonder if it's tasty. <gasps> hmm, maybe I shouldn't put that in my mouth. That would taste yucky. But she had an ice cream cone. It doesn't look very much like a Valentine though. Hmm, maybe you're supposed to do something else with it. Oh. There we go. That looks like a big giant Valentine heart. That's what Valentines are. They look like hearts. And I don't know if you know, but a heart can mean I love you. And a Valentine, which is a very special kind of paper heart, is a way of saying I love you if you give it to somebody. So, she decided to take her little valentine and she was going to hang it right up on her little wall. Which she did. Just like that. Now the next thing that she needed to do was get her house ready for the party. So she got little party cups and she got party plates and she laid them all out. She made some wonderful punch that was bright red like a valentine. She made some cookies that were big and round and had pink sprinkles all over them. 
she also made a big giant pot of soup because nothing says I love you to your friends like having nice warm soup on a cold February day. Now that everything was ready, it was time to invite her friends. She called her friend Duck, quack. She called her friend Cat, meow. She called her friend Bear, grrr. And she told them to come over for a Valentine I love you party. They were excited. And so was Little Mouse. She waited and she waited and she waited. But after a while, she didn't get a knock on her door. She heard a sound and it sounded like this. Quack, quack. Uh-oh. What sound is that? Quack, quack, quack. Oh. Well, that sounds a little like a duck. Quack, quack. Oh, that sounds like duck is not happy. She went to the front door and opened it up, and there, sitting on her front porch, was duck. Duck had fallen off of her bike and she had a boo-boo on her knee and she was crying. <coughs> oh, duck. Oh, little mouse took her friend duck and she said, come on inside. Let's get this better. Come on and come on. And she took her inside and she sat her down and she cleaned off her boo-boo and she put a little pink band-aid right on her boo-boo to make it better. Is that better, duck? Yeah, that was very good. Thank you very much. Oh, it's good. You're my good friend, Duck. Yeah, you're my good friend, Mouse. Duck looked around and said, Wow, this party is, it's beautiful in here. And I see you have a valentine. Boy, I wish I had a big valentine like that one. Well, Little Mouse, she'd always heard something from her mama. And her mama said this, Love is always better if you share it with a friend. And as she looked at that valentine, she thought, A valentine means I love you. So maybe I shouldn't keep it for myself. She didn't have any more of that paper, so she couldn't make a second one. So she took her valentine off the wall. And she thought about it for a minute. And then she thought, or maybe I can make another valentine. So she folded her valentine back into an ice cream cone. Do you think we could make another valentine out of this? Maybe if we nibble some more like Mouse did the first time. She began to nibble again. You can nibble too if you want to, it's kind of fun. Let's try it. Nibble, 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 nibble. Nibble, 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 nibble. Nibble, 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 nibble. Ooh, that was faster. So, she took her great big valentine that she had made. And she gave that to her friend, Duck. There you go, Duck. Oh, it's beautiful, said Duck. I like it a lot. And guess what? She even had another one, just a little smaller, very nice. Mom was right. If you give love away, it always gets bigger. We have more than we had before. Well, Duck and Mouse, they settled in to wait for the rest of the friends. And it was just in time, too, because this time there was a knock at the door. Mouse went to the door, and there was Cat. Oh, what a wonderful place you have set up here for the party, said Cat. I love it. Hello, Duck. Oh, hello, Cat. Oh, I love everything. And look, 
you have valentines? Oh, I wish I had a valentine. I'd never had a valentine before. Cat had never had a valentine either. Well, there's only the two. Could we make another one? Maybe. Mom always said, love is always better if you give it away. It comes back to you and it'll get bigger. Hmm. Let's try it again and see if we could make more love. More Valentines out of our little Valentine. Here's our little ice cream cone. It's time to nibble again. Here we go. Ready? Nibble, 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 very nice. And look, we even have one more to go. A little mouse-sized valentine, just for little mouse. Love is always better if you give it away, share it with a friend. It grows. Mm. Well now, all they had to do was wait for Bear. But you know what? Little Mouse got a telephone call. Ring, ring. She picked up the phone. Hello? Oh, hi, Bear. Oh, Bear, you don't sound good. Are you sick, Bear? Oh, no. No, you should stay in bed. You know what? We can send you over some nice, cozy soup, and that would make you feel better. And we could send lots and lots of love. Does that sound good? Oh, what a good idea. So they put together some soup. They even put together some punch and some cookies. But you know what? We need to give Bear some love. Do you think we could share a Valentine I love you with Bear too? Can we make more? Hmm. Let's try it. One more time. Ready? Fold it over. Just like that. And here we go. Nibble, nibble. It's kind of small. Let's see if I can turn it the other way. Nibble. Nibble. I think it's too small. I can't make it any smaller. Oh dear. Well, should I keep it just for mouse? Should we? Mama always said that you should give your love away because it gets bigger, bigger. Well, okay. If Mama always said that, little mouse gave Bear her heart, her little Valentine heart, her I love you heart, and some soup, and some punch, and some cookies, and sent them over so that Bear, in her little bed, whoop, poor Bear, could feel some love too. Well, soon the party was all over and all her friends went home with their valentines. One, two, three. Bear in bed, cat to her house, and duck to her house. And all little mouse had left was an empty wall. I guess mom wasn't right. Love doesn't always grow. Sometimes you just run out. 
Little Mouse cleaned up. And as she was cleaning up, she found some scrap paper. She didn't know what to do with that. Maybe she should just throw it away. Don't you think? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. She had a big giant valentine left and did not even know it. Mama was right. Love is always better if you share it with a friend and it will grow bigger, bigger, bigger. And that is the end. We'll see you next time, friends. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give me a kiss, jellyfish. Mwah. Give me a hug, ladybug. I'll see you soon, raccoon, all the way to the moon. See you next time. Miss Christy loves you.